India, for example, the size of India is 3.3 square kilometers, population is 1.1 billion or 1100 million. The po poverty level has significantly changed from 27.5% to 21.8%. The reason for that in this is because the export market of India still continues and the internal consumption is still there. This is the reason why China, India, Russia and Brazil are able to sustain their economic and are able to create that demand to be able to move forward. China is larger than Japan and India is larger than Germany. India, with a 4% growth, India is performing well not just in textiles and cheap electronics, but in shipbuilding, chemicals, steel, communications as well. So these four countries are creating the demand, are creating the products, are internally using them, providing it cheaply, and that is why exactly like he asked, these countries are able to provide the same thing far cheaper. Questions? Uh, one question, sir. Yeah. Uh, and other advanced countries, there is system of minimum wages. Minimum as wages, we, yeah. yeah. As you told that we are exporting cheaper labor. But as there is, uh, what you say, system of minimum wages, by law they have to uh, pay that minimum wages. Minimum wages internationally, whether in the United States or in Europe, is applicable to unskilled workers. But when they import doctors and engineers, the minimum wages don't apply. When they import nurses, the minimum wages may apply in some cases. But definitely not when they import doctors or engineers or accountants or people who have a proper graduation or a professional degree behind them. That's so, my point is, is there exploitation of Asians and African in those countries? Well, discrimination exists in most developed countries. That does exist. People exploitation. I mean, yes, exploitation. Serious exploitation. Yes, serious exploitation does take place. But at the same time, the economy is also having a lot of illegal workers who are gaining salaries, and government is not earning any tax on that. So it's a kind of a balance between the legal workers and illegal workers. But there is an exploitation. But there are regulatory authorities in the United States or in developed countries like Singapore, America, Japan, UK. And these regulatory authorities have to monitor that the minimum scale of wages is provided to the workers. So why we cannot raise questions against them? These questions especially, are especially, especially in our region, in South Asia, yes. India is the leader. Yes. And Lord, what India is always following and uh, what you say, uh, uh, they cannot, Indian cannot raise question against these countries. Why? Yeah. Indian First, government. I mean. Right. Indian government and a lot of other governments <coughs> in the world, including China, including Russia, who are exporting human resources and they are being exploited over there. <coughs> All right, thank you very much. Thank you very much for allowing me to give this lecture. Thank you once again. Thank you.